Let's have a look at a combustion analysis problem that has more elements than just carbon and hydrogen. So I'm going to say, in the course of a combustion analysis of an unknown compound, 12.923 grams of carbon dioxide, 6.608 grams of water, and 2.057 grams of nitrogen was measured. The complete combustion of 11.014 grams of the compound occurred in an excess of oxygen. Remember, this part is irrelevant. And knowing the compound contained carbon, hydrogen, and not nitrogen and oxygen, what is the compound's empirical formula? So I'm going to lay out an equation. You don't have to write an equation if you want. This is just how I'm organizing it. These are the amounts, these are the masses of the products of the reaction, okay? All right, so from earlier problems, we know that carbon dioxide is 27.3% carbon and water is 11.2% hydrogen, All right? So I'm just going to use those values and I'm not going to resolve for them. All right, so of the carbon dioxide, the 12.923 grams of it, 27% of that belongs to carbon. 11.2% of the 6.608 grams of water belongs to hydrogen. So I'm going to actually get some masses here. All right, so of the 12.9 grams, 3.528 grams of it is carbon. Of the 6 grams, 6.6 .6 grams of water, 0 0.7401 grams of that belong to hydrogen. Okay, so now remember, this 3.5 and 0 0.7 grams, all right, they came from the original 11. But there's this other element, nitrogen, that I need to account for. But look, nitrogen, all of the nitrogen is in N2. I don't need to do percent composition or any type of analysis on it. I know that all 2.057 grams came from the original 11. All right, so now I know how much carbon, hydrogen, and nitrogen were in the original 11.014 grams. So I'm going to run some subtraction here. All right, so I'm going to take the original 11 grams. I'm going to minus, subtract 3.528 grams of carbon, 0 0.7401 grams of hydrogen, 2.057 grams of nitrogen, and whatever's left must be oxygen. Okay, so the compound, the unknown compound contained 4.6889 grams of oxygen. All right, so now I know how much carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen were in the original 11 gram sample. I'm going to give myself a little bit more space to work here. All right, now it's an empirical formula question carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen. So, mass to moles in each one of them. Right, get a little labeling in here. So uh, we'll take your hydrogen, 0.704 times 1 divided by 1.01. .01. Nitrogen, 2.057 grams. One mole of nitrogen, 14.01 grams. Remember, you're working with atomic nitrogen there. So 4.6889 grams of oxygen. All right, so we'll run some calculations. We'll get some molar values here. So 0 0.294 moles, okay, or 0 0.2938. It's probably better to carry a few extra decimal places, even, of carbon. Then we're going to get 0 0.7328 moles of hydrogen, 0 0.1468 moles of nitrogen, and 0 0.2931 moles of oxygen. All right. So divide by small. All right. Okay, so we're going to divide everything by 0.1468. I remember this step will either give you whole numbers or very close to whole numbers or it'll give you the common decimals. All right, so 2.001 is 2. Okay, 4.99 is really 5. Okay, 1 and then 2. All right, the empirical formula of this compound will be C2H5NO2. Very good work.